Tom Purvis, the chairman of BMW Holding Company in the U.S. Tom, you had a really great year last year. You brought in your BMW X5 that's doing quite well. Tell us your sentiment on how things are going. Well, we had a tremendous year of change last year. I mean, we, you're right, absolutely right. We changed over the X5. We brought new engines for our uh, 5 Series cars. And we, if you like, fleshed out the 3 Series portfolio with the introduction of the Coupe. So we ended the year with all that change and still a growth of 3% in what was a pretty flat market. The first couple of months of this year have started off with a very good result. We're 8% ahead of last year. So we're, we're delighted. I think BMW is, has invested so much money in research and development. We've got this wonderful product initiative that the success is built around the products themselves. You, the hard top retractable convertibles are all the rage right now, and you're standing behind your new baby. Yes. Want to tell us what you yeah, like about absolutely. this? Well, of course, this is the first BMW convertible with a steel retractable uh, hard top. So uh, we're very proud of that. But actually, we're very proud of the way it's executed. I mean, look at the low lines of the car. And yet, if you look at most cars with a retractable hard top, they actually have quite large rear quarters here. It's not the case with BMW. Also, we have in it, of course, two great new engines, 328 engine, which has got Valtronic and uh, double Vanos and tremendous fuel efficiency. And of course, the 335, which is 300 horsepower with two turbochargers and direct injection. And that's been a tremendous hit. We simply cannot make enough of those engines. And they're available in the 3 Series, they're available in the 5 Series coming from uh, next month. So uh, we're in pretty good shape with the, the heart of what in the end is the Bavarian motor company. And, and of course your great suspension. Everybody that drives a BMW loves the, yes, your suspension. that's true. And this particular car, of course, is uh, uh, aluminum uh, front suspension, which helps with the unsprung weight. And we have the multi-link rear axle. So uh, yes, BMW is all about the, the ride and the handling. Uh, and we're in convertible country here in Miami, where actually within 120 miles, we sell the, the, the largest proportion of BMW convertibles uh, in the United States. I was uh, interested to find out that your automatic in this car gets more miles per gallon than your manual. <laughs> well, it's a clever automatic. Uh, we're learning all the time. It shifts faster. It's got a new torque converter. And yes, it's cleverer than you or I are when it comes to driving efficiently. It, it does say something about the fact that BMW is looking at fuel efficiency, at looking at alternative energies? Oh, absolutely. I mean, our, our, our Valvetronic engines are extremely fuel efficient. Um, they bring you more power or more fuel economy, depending on how you want to drive the car. Uh, next year, we're bringing diesel engines to the United States. We are 25 years invested in uh, liquid hydrogen running through an internal combustion engine. Uh, as you know, and we've also invested in hybrid technology with two partners up in Detroit. So we are, we're very, very well invested in the direction of alternative uh, uh, fuels. Uh, and I think in the, in the long run, uh, hydrogen is a solution, but there are going to be very many approaches to it. This is going to be an exciting area to be in, an exciting time to be in the car business. I'm, I'm interested in that diesel you mentioned. Will it be diesel in all 50 states? Uh, yes, it will. We, we actually are waiting until we comply with all 50 states, the regulations that we can sell in all 50 states. It didn't make sense to us to bring it for a limited number of states, particularly when one of those limited that wouldn't have been included was California, uh, which is our biggest single uh, state market. So, uh, yes, we're really looking forward to the diesel. It's got great torque, great performance. I mean, people think of diesels as they used to be. They really are very different today, as anyone who's driven the car, a diesel in Europe knows. And this actual, uh, the way that the diesel performs is so suitable for the United States with a high torque, a high acceleration from a standing start. I think we're going to be uh, inundated with demand for the car. And 25% more miles per gallon than gasoline. Yes, absolutely. Every tank you go 25% longer. Just think of that. I mean, uh, that in itself, you don't have to go to the gas station so often. What, what vehicles will the diesel be brought out in? Uh, well, we've been very careful about uh, not announcing what vehicles we're going to bring it in, but you can certainly imagine what they might be. And since the heart and soul of BMW is about performance, there will be a very high performance diesel. What, what diesels do you have in Europe? Oh, we have a, a range of diesels from uh, 2 litres uh, up to uh, V8, uh, and I, I would think half a dozen different diesels in, in total. But we're going to concentrate on a couple of diesels for the United States. That's, that's enough at the moment. Uh, we have to recognize that there is a, uh, an experience curve with these products. If you look at um, 
diesel sales and you look at hybrid sales in the United States, there's still a very small percentage of the total sales. So we don't expect uh, diesel to become 60 or 70 percent of our business as it is in some European markets. Right. Uh, but we do see the opportunity there and when we are in a position to sell in all 50 states, it will be 2008, we bring the vehicles there. Tom Purvis, thank you very much. Thank you.